I fell in love with music from a very young age. I've been playing violin for most of my life. It has been a place of solitude. It has also been a protector. When I was a teenager growing up, it kept me off the streets. One, two, three, rest. I didn't grow up seeing other black string players who were professional violinists. It is not an instrument that discriminates against people of color. However, the genre of classical music has. The violin, traditionally within classical music, has been framed as something that is only for the rich, white, elite. fundamentally inequitable, unfortunately, just due to the funding challenges that our public schools have. It depends on kind of which school you get, depends on kind of the quality of the music program that you get, or even access to music and arts. When I first got involved with music, I was very little. Just the dramatics and the animation of the sound of the violin really pulled me towards them and said, yes, that's me. When I walk into the orchestra room, I don't see black kids. I see mainly white kids, and I see Asian kids, and I see just a lot of kids who are succeeding in the instrument and who are doing their thing, but then there's me. For so long, when you look at good violin players or classical music, you don't see anybody who is colorful, someone who's quirky, someone who doesn't look like the type, Amariah wears braids, she wears her hair curly, she wears her hair straight, she wears it in a bun. Um, you don't always see that. That's why I started Key to Change, to embrace students of all different backgrounds in a classical music violin studio environment where they're celebrated, they are taught, and more specifically, are black students who aren't encouraged to play string instruments they're not encouraged to study classical music, that they can totally be themselves. My daughter, she wanna play an instrument. I couldn't afford it. I told her I cannot pay for it. We have to wait until the next school year to enroll. But she didn't wanna wait. She wanted to play an instrument. And Key to Change was really affordable because when I applied, she was eligible to get a scholarship. Key to Change gave me an opportunity to get my daughter what she wanted. Over 90% of our students are on scholarship, whether it's need-based or merit-based. And that's one of the ways that we have been able to remove the financial barriers for our students. Lessons can cost up to $175 an hour, and students can take group lessons as low as $12.50. It's a place of belonging for them. You can see the personality and you can see just the sheer joy that even she gets when she steps into it. Me, I'm a very animated character, like I said. I'm dramatic, I'm animated, I'm emotional, I'm hilarious, I'm goofy. So all of that can be brought out in my playing and when I bring it out in my playing, it's black, it's black excellence. It's me, it's who I am as a person. Dr. Morris, it's an amazing experience to learn from him. All right, I think we made it. That sounded really good. Like he knows I'm good and he knows I can be something and he treats all of his students like that. Music lessons really is the catalyst for helping students not just learn about the instrument, but learn about critical thinking, learn about accountability and responsibility. And when they become adults one day, my hope is that they pay it forward in another young person's life. Two, three. Good. My name is Dr. Quentin Morris. My mission is to inspire underserved youth through world-class music instruction and to support their development as self-aware leaders. <laughs>